welcome to Miss Rose's story time. And today we're going over things to strengthen our reading skills. So it's Miss Rose's tutoring tips. Okay. And our last segment on tutoring tips, we went over that there's 26 letters in the alphabet. 16 letters make only one sound. B D F H J K L M N P Q R T V X and Z. Ten letters make more than one sound. Five vowels, A, E, I, O, and U. Three sound alikes, C, G, and S. Two sometimes vowels, Y and W. You cannot take these apart. They make new sounds, not just that two sounds added together. So CH is CH, as in chap. SH is in SH, as in shop. WH is as in is w, as in wheel and TH as in thick or thin, okay? And then we have 16 one sound letters. B, box, D, do, F, fox, H, hut, J, jog, K, kilt, L, look, M, mate, N, nook, P, pen, Q, U, qu quick, R, red, T, took, V, vial, X, fox, and Z, zeal. So these are one letter sounds. So B, B, D, D, F, F, H, J, J, K, K, L, U, M, M, N, N, P, P, Q, U, Q, R, R, T, T, V, M, X, X, and Z, Z, okay? And then, um, to, if you want to make any notes of these, I'm going to give you a moment to make some notes. All right, and now we're going to go over our three-letter words today, and um, we're also going to go in alphabet, al alphabetizing. And some say uh, A, B, C order. Alphabetizing, all right, alphabetical order. Okay, so our main values are A, E, I, O, and U, all right? So we're gonna go over these words and we're gonna sound them out with their proper sounds and say the word, which some of this might be elementary for you, but if you're working on alphabetizing, hang in there, we're gonna get to that next. Okay, T-A-X. V A N V A N Van C A T K A T Cat W A X W A X B A T B A T Bat. Now see there, I didn't say ba, I said b. Okay. So if you're used to saying ba or ka or wa or va or ta, when you say those single sounds right here. Remember their t, m, k, w, b. Okay, so we can sound out words properly. Because when they move over in these other vowels, they're not going to have the a uh sound. All right. R a t, r a t, d a d, d a d, dad, m a d, m a d, mad, m a n, m a n, man, b a d, b a d, bad. F A N F A N Fan C A P K A P Cap. I don't know if I did this one right for you. R A T R A T Rat. Okay. Now, if we were going to put these in alphabetical order, we would put them in the order of the alphabet, and we know the alphabet, right? A B C D, right? So, and we're going to put these in alphabetical order. None of these start with the letter A. So what comes after A? That's right, B. So B would be the next word. Now we have two words with B, bat and bad. So which one would go first? They both begin with a B. The next letter in both of them is an A. So we have to go to the third letter, T and D. Well, what comes first, T or D? D comes first, so bad would be first and bat would be next, okay, in alphabetical order. Now we see if there's any C words. Well, we have two C words. We have cat, 
and cap. So what comes first in the alphabet, P or T? Because we have, both of them have C's, both of them have A's, so we go to the third letter, P and T. Well, which comes next in the alphabet? Does P come before T or T come before P? That's right, P comes first. So P would be next, cap, and then the T for cat would be after that. I'm gonna make a four, not a carpenter four, but a regular four, okay? Now we go through, are there any D words? You're right, dad. And there's no other D word besides dad, so we know that that one is next. Okay, now what would come next? Okay, we don't have any E words. Do we have any F words? We do, fan, and it's the only F word in here. So, or that word that begins with an F, so that would be next, right there. All right, G, no, H, no, I, no, J, no, K, no, L, nope. M, ah, M, we have two M words, mad and man. They both have M, they both have A, D and N, okay? So in the alphabet, does D come before N or does N come before D? That's right, D comes before N, so that would be next. And then that one, so mad then man, okay? Now, any N words? No, O, P, Q, R, rat, and there's only one word with rat, so that would be next. Okay. S, no T, only one with T, so that would be next. Okay, and let's see, we have two words left, van and wax. I don't know if I said that word, tax, there you go. Van and wax, does V come before W or W before V? That's right, V before W. And then wax. There we go. They are all in alphabetical order. We have bad, bat, cap, cat, dad, fan, mad, man, rat, tax, van, and wax. There in alphabetical the quarter. Now let's go to our next grouping of words. These words have the vowel E in it. Eh. Okay? So eh, eh. Ready? All right. So men, M-E-N, M-E-N, men. Now this one has that C-H where we don't sound them separately. We sound it together because that's one of our C-H-S in chat. These that don't, do not separate. Can't take them apart. So... We have ch, ek, check, okay? And then we have s, et, set, y, et, yet, p, et, pet, y, et, yes, b, et, bed. I'm sorry, I didn't say what the letter names were for those that are still learning that. So we have M E N, men. Check, C-H-E-C-K, set, S-E-T, yet, Y-E-T, pet, P-E-T, yes, Y-E-S, and bed, B-E-D, okay? Now let's put these in alphabetical order, shall we? All right. So do we have any words that begin with A? No. What about B? That's right, bed. So that would be our first word in alphabetical order, okay? And then do we have any C words? That's right, the C-H word, check. So that would be second. And then next, in alphabetical, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. And there's only one, so that's next. 
That's the third word, men. N-O-P-Q-R-S. Oh, oh, P. I did say P. Yep, Miss Rose, you said P. That's right, okay. So that's next. Q-R-S. So pet and then set. T-U-V-W-X-Y. We have two Y words, yes and yet. They both begin with Y, the next both have E, and then this one has a T and this one has an S. So what comes first? Does T come before S in the alphabet or S before T? That's right, S before T. So yes and then yet. So in order we have bed, check, men, pet, set, yes, and yet. Very good. Okay, now our I words for today. I says I, okay? So a, a, I, okay? So we have lip, lip, ch, there's those ch you can't take apart, okay? Ch, in, chin. Now we have wh, those don't come apart either. So we say itch, which, like which one? Then ch again, ch, ip, chip, and then w, i, win, okay? So w, i, n, win, c, h, i, p, chip, w, h, i, c, h, which, c, h, i, n, chin, and l, i, p, lip. Okay, let's put those in alphabetical order. So a, b, c, two words with c. They both have ch. Next, they both have i. One has N and one has P, so what would be first? And that's right, chin and then chip. Okay, so what comes next? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. That lip would be next. L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, W, we have which and when. So does, does H come before I or I before H? That's right, H becomes before I. Okay, very good. And I see that I did my little carpenter for you there. Not everybody understands that number four, so I change over there. So we have chin, chip, lip. Yes, chin, chip, lip, which, and when. Okay, now we're gonna move over to O. O, A, okay? A, E, I mean A, E, E, A, okay? A, E, E, A, okay? So, A, we have H, O, P, up, hop, C, O, T, K, opt, cot, L, O, C, K, L, O, C, lock, R, O, B, Rob, Rob, N O T N O T, not. All right, let's put them in alphabetical order. Okay, so A B C, cot is first. Cot is like a mat you sleep on. Okay, A B C D E F G H. Okay. I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, U, R. So the order is cot, hop, lock, knot, and rob. All right? These are easy because there's not that there wasn't any double first letters. Okay? So now let's go to U, up, like up, okay? A, A, I, A, A, okay? A, I, I mean, I'm sorry, A, E, I, A, A, okay? So we have B, U, G, B, U, G, N, U, T, N, U, T, so bug, nut, P, U, P, P, U, P, P, U, P, S H, those guys, those two stay together. Shh, okay. S H U T, sh, up, shut. F U N, f, 
A N F U N Q U Q Q A C K Q A C Q A C All right, and then Q U I T Q It Quit. Okay, so we have bug nut pup shut fun quack and quit. So any letters start with A? No. B? Yes. Bug. C? No. D? E? F? G? Oh, F, Miss Rose. There we go. G? H? I? J? K? L? M? N? O-P. Oops. Q. We have two Qs. Q-U, Q-U, A, and I. Does A come before I or I before A? A comes before I. So we have quack. And then quit. And then we only have one word left. So we know that's next. Process of elimination. When you take a test, Go through all the ones that you know and then go back to the ones you don't know because it's called process of elimination because we only had that one left so we know that was the last one. Process of elimination. There we go. All right, so in the order goes bug, fun, nut, pup, quack, and quit. And shut. There we go. Very good. Okay, so um, I have teachers reaching out to me asking me to go over certain things for um, different students. So we went over alphabetizing, proper sounds and things. And now we're going to go over some math questions. Um, math questions that are in written form. Okay, so we need to put our little detective hats on. and Or private investigator hats or whatever you want to say. And we need to think when there's a sentence. So if it says, Sally, oh, Shally, not Shally, Miss Rose, Sally, okay? <laughs> Sally, see? We're always learning. Sally has two, this is the number two, T-W-O, okay, written form. Sally has two flowers. Okay. Molly gave Sally three of her flowers. Or the flowers. Molly gave Sally three of her flowers. Or I could say Molly gave Sally three more flowers. Let's do that. So Molly gave Sally three more flowers. How many flowers does Sally have in all? Okay? All right. So what are our keywords? We know that Sally has two flowers, okay? Molly gave Sally three more flowers. More flowers. How many, how many flowers does Sally have in all, okay? So our key words here 
are the number words, two and three, but then the ones that we know what we're gonna do, if we're gonna add, subtract, multiply, or divide, we have, it says more and how many and all. So gave and more are a cue that it's what? That's right, we are going to add, okay? So we add two plus three. Two plus three. I don't know if you can see that down there, so I'm gonna go over here. So we're gonna add two plus three, okay? Now, we don't need to count on our fingers or use tally marks. Okay, those are fine when we're getting going, but over time, we need to be able to do mental math, okay? So we have three plus two more. So we all know how to count. So let's just start at the bigger number, three, and count two more, two more spots forward on the number line, if you picture it in your head, after three. So three, four, five. Very good. So two plus three is five. So how many more, or how many flowers does Sally have in all? Then you would write, really impress your teachers this way, instead of just saying, instead of just saying five, which would be fine, it'd be correct, but to really impress your teachers, you could write, Sally now has five flowers, Could just say that now Sally now has five flowers or we could say Sally now has five flowers in all now check that out that would really impress them I think okay so that is our tip for today so think of Gabe and more addition okay we'll go over some more words in um, math word problems and things and alphabetizing and all of that tomorrow. And while I'm going to continue to read Miss Rose's story time, while I'm, in, I'm finishing up the bronze bow, at the end of each chapter, I am going to be asking comprehension questions. Now, when we think of comprehension, it's basically telling what you read, okay? Because the whole reason why we read is so we learn and we can experience and we know what we're reading. So reading so many words per minute is important. However, you need to know what you're reading. Not to be such in a hurry to get to that top number of reading per words per minute if you're not understanding or remembering what you're reading. So comprehension is very important. So when we are reading, we want to ask who, what, when, where, and why. When we think of these questions while we're reading, we'll be able to retain what we're reading and we'll be able to share what we're reading, okay? And in stories, we also want to think about what the setting is. That is like the where, okay? And the plot. Sometimes the plot can the answer the why. And then we have the high peak of the story, and that could be like, the whole synopsis of the most importance of the story, okay? So we want to think those things when we read. So when you tune into Miss Rose's story time, I already have books that I already fully read on there, like um, The Outsiders and um, Carry On Mr. Bowditch and Sneechers and The Gold Cadillac and um, I think, I don't know if it's Paul, 
all bunion or if it was some other American um, hero. I can't remember which one it was now, but you'll see on Miss Rose's story time a list of stories that I have fully read from beginning to end. And um, now that I'm aware that teachers would like me to help children with comprehension, I am going to be asking questions at the end of each chapter um, to help comprehension. So I'm going to ask the question and I'm going to wait. And then I'm going to say the answer, and then you can see if you, if you got it right. And if you follow throughout the summer and such, you will be stronger in that area when school starts again. And also, um, there's teachers in the area that have me read specific books that their children are reading, so their students are reading, so they can follow along. And when at meal time and things of that nature, when you're together with the, with your family, you can share your stories. You can even put them out in family plays and acts and things of that nature. And during this time that you're home or with a caregiver, you can read together and you guys can make it like a whole group activity. So um, I hope you all are doing well. And I'm going to step away so you can make notes if you'd like to. And take care until next time. God bless you.